Hello everyone. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about MFIS, a modular multi-physics simulation package using the OpenMDO framework. To give you a bit of background, I'm from the MDO lab at University of Michigan, and research in the MDO lab is divided into two main thrusts. We're working on developing fundamental MDO algorithms, and we're applying these to applications of MDO. And in the past, we've done a lot of work on aerostructural design optimization. And here you can see an example where we optimize the design of the common research model using about 1,000 design variables. And we've been using the mock framework to perform these high fidelity design optimizations. The implementation is ad hoc, but very efficient. However, it is very difficult to extend this approach to additional disciplines. And the complexity of propagating derivatives across the model grows exponentially with each additional discipline. So we need a solution for design optimization with aerodynamics, structures, and other disciplines. And that's why we've been working on the Emphis package. In this talk, I'm going to introduce the Emphis package. I'm going to go over the OpenMDO model structure that we built. I'll talk about the current capabilities, ongoing, and future work. OpenMDO Multiphysics, or MPhys, is a multidisciplinary simulation package. It provides an OpenMDO model structure required to build complex models using high fidelity simulations. Computational performance and parallelism comes built in. And while the primary goal is models with high fidelity simulations, MPhys is also useful for multi fidelity models. And as stated in the CFD 2030 report, MDAO is limited by one-off laborious non-standard interfaces. And this is the main problem we want to address with MFIS. MFIS uses a modular structure and it defines a minimal common API for each solver. Developers can build OpenMDO wrappers for their solvers that conform with this API. And with these common interfaces, MFIS models become plug and play. The solvers and transfer schemes become interchangeable. And to give you an example, <clears throat> we're going to look at two different aerodynamic solvers that use the same problem interface. On the left, we have a RAND CFD solver that uses a volume mesh. And on the right, we have a VLM solver that only requires a surface mesh. The coupling to OpenMDO for both of these solvers are done with the same interface. The inputs are the surface coordinates that define the aerodynamic problem boundary. And then the outputs are the surface forces that come out from the analysis. And as long as they conform with this minimal API, both solvers can do different computations internally. And as a result of this approach, we can swap aerodynamic groups. And MFIS provides the machinery required for computational efficiency. The allocated memory for solvers can be reused throughout the model. For example, if you have multiple flight conditions, you can analyze them in serial or in parallel without incurring an increased computation or memory cost. And the abstracted parallelism in MFIS reduces the complexity of each individual run script. And in the following slides, I'm going to go a bit deeper into the model structure we use in MFIS. And MFIS defines three main groups in the OpenMDO model hierarchy. On the top level, we have the multipoint group that contains all the scenarios analyzed with the same combination of solvers and fidelity levels. And users interact with this multipoint group directly. Under each multipoint group, we add scenarios to represent each flight condition. And these contain the groups required for each flight condition separately, such as the solver group and the optional functionals group. And as I said, under the, the scenario group, we have the main solver level, that is the nonlinear coupled analysis group, which is the lowest level group provided by MFIS. And after the solver group is converged, optionally, solvers can add their own functional groups or components, which are run once after this solver loop is converged. So now I'm going to break down a single point aerostructural model. And this is the simplest model you can do in MFIS that has all the fundamental features. On the top level, if we collapse the whole model, we just have one component for the design variables and then one component for the multipoint group. In this example, we have a single multipoint group, but users can add multiple of these. And inside each multipoint group, we have components that are shared across this multipoint group, for, such as the 
aerodynamic mesh and the structured mesh for structural mesh. And for example, if you want to couple these um, tools to a geometry module, you can do them. You can do that at this level. And as I mentioned before, users add scenarios to represent each flight condition they want to analyze under these multipoint groups. In this example, again, we have a single scenario that's S0, but each additional scenario would be added after this if users wanted to add more. And each scenario primarily contains two groups. One is a solver group, and then the others are the functional groups. The solver group contains the main nonlinear solver, and then once we iterate and converge this solver group, we run the functionals group once that use the converged state from the solver group. Inside each solver group, we have all the components required for all the disciplines and the coupling schemes. So here you can see the feedback coupling between aerodynamics and structures, where we have the displacement transfer group that update the aerodynamic surface nodes, and we run the aerodynamic analysis, get the surface loads, which are then fed into the structural solver. And the displacements that come out of the structural solver come back to the displacement transfer scheme, and we iterate until we converge the state. And to show you how we can swap aerodynamic solvers, I'm going to focus on the structure of how an aerodynamic group looks like. So on the left, we have AD flow, a RAN CFD code, and on the right, we have a VLM solver. And as I mentioned before, the aerodynamic problem interface is the surface geometry and the nodal forces. And even though internally these two solvers do different computations, they both use the same interface, so we can use them interchangeably in this MFIS model. And besides this basic structure, um, users can also add multiple multipoint groups which contain multiple scenarios. And on top of this, the parallelism can be customized both at the multipoint and the scenario level. For example, if, you're, if you have a simulation that uses four processors, the very basic thing you can do is to use all of your processors for all the flight conditions back to back. So in this example, the red numbers show you how many processors are used for each group. And as you can see, we first converge S0 and then S1. And then we move on to the next multipoint group and do the same there. But we can customize this. For example, the user can say, I want to use three processors to converge the MP0 group and then one processor for the other multipoint group. So in this case, the two multipoint groups would run in parallel and the, communica and the communicator would be split unevenly and customly across both of them. And you can do the same on the scenario level as well. You can say my first scenario, I want to use two processors and then one processor for the other scenario for the first multipoint group. And for the second multipoint group, because you have a single processor, you can run your scenarios back to back using that single processor. And these features enable users to build complex models with high fidelity tools and the run scripts to build these models are relatively simple. Now I'm going to talk about current capabilities in MFIS. Right now, MFIS can perform aerostructural simulations using combinations of solvers. For aerodynamics, we have AD flow, which is a RAN CFD solver, and a VLM solver developed at Langley Research Center. For structures, we have TAX, which is a high fidelity finite element method solver, and a modal solver. For the transfer scheme, we have the MELD and the RLT schemes. And we can do aerostructural analyses and basic optimizations with eight different solver combinations. And availability of multiple solvers create new possibilities for design optimization. If solvers provide derivatives, they can be used in optimizations. And even without gradients, they can be used to analyze the design which was optimized using another solver. For example, if your RAN CFD code does not provide sensitivities, but your VLM code does, you can perform optimizations with the VLM code and see how the design would perform using the RANS code with a single analysis. And different combinations of solvers can also be used for each flight condition. For example, you can say, I'm, I only want to use my RANS CFD model to get an accurate drag prediction of my cruise point, but I can use the VLM solver for a low speed high G maneuver case to get the aerodynamic loads. 
And ongoing on future work, um, we're working to add more solvers and design tools in Emphis. Emphis wrappers are being developed for Fun 3D and SU2, and our plans include the addition of NASRAM and simple beam and wing box models. We're also working on including geometry parameterization tools, which will include a freeform deformation approach, an interface to vehicle sketchpad, and engineering sketchpad. We have created these interfaces to these tools already, and we just need to clean up the code a bit for, to enable their use in Emphis. And we're also working on adding more disciplines such as propulsion and thermal models. Um, for more details on how I used Emphis in, my, in the aeropropulsive design optimizations I did, you can check out my other talk at Aviation, and you can see details here. And to wrap things up, Emphis provides a multi-physics simulation package using OpenMDAO. It streamlines the inclusion of high-fidelity simulations in OpenMDAO models, and users interact with a simplified interface where parallelism is abstract and computational performance is optimized by developers. The standard API defined for each discipline enables a plug-and-play approach where the solvers are interchangeable. Currently, Emphis is not released, but Emphis will be released with an open source license once we finalize the important details about the API. And hopefully with these developments, we can create a common interface for aerostructural and multi-physics simulations. Thank you for listening to my talk. You can join the Q&A session at the MDO-07 Emerging Methods, Algorithms, and Software Development in MDO2. You can see the open source tools I used in this work. <clears throat> And this work was funded by the NASA Transformational Tools and Technologies and Advanced Air Tra Transport Technology Projects. Thank you.